And uh, I don't think I've ever been to Mattoon, Illinois, but uh, Mattoon is famous for uh, being where the Mad Gasser happened. Um, I think back in around World War II, there was something called the Mad Gasser of Mattoon. You can look it up on Wikipedia. It's kind of like a mass hysteria. Maybe there really was a Mad Gasser, um, a mysterious figure that was uh, showing up at people's houses and uh, emitting some kind of gas into their home and uh, messing them up, making them sick. Uh, here's the park. Uh, the park has this like construction type of fencing around it for some reason. And uh, there's barricades right there so you can't drive in. Um, there's a for sale sign over by that ballpark. So I don't know if the park is closed because of COVID or, or it's, uh, they just don't want people driving in here. I don't know what harm you could do now that you couldn't have done when they made the road. There's a stop sign. Here's a, uh, okay, Desert Storm uh, Persian Gulf uh, Memorial. Yep. I was a young and when Desert Storm happened, that was a big deal. But the main thing I wanted to look at was this tank. Uh, anything World War II uh, or military history related, I'm really into. Um, I didn't even know this tank was here. I think it's a Stuart. It's a uh, American light tank. Earlier in the war, they had uh, some tanks like the Stuart. Um, probably named after J.E.B. Jeb Stewart, and it was like the Grant and the Lee, named after generals, some of them Confederate generals. Yeah, M3 light tank. Wow, this is really nice. Well, I guess it makes up for them having their their uh, barricades that still have this tank here and haven't scrapped it or gotten rid of it. Shows the uh, assembly line. There's a crew with their, with all their gear, with all their kit. There's, there's Patton himself. Pretty cool cutaway. Early in the war, uh, Japan and a lot of countries had these little tanks. Even Germany had the Panzer I. So within a few years of the conflict, they were obsolete. Um, unless you're fighting people who don't have tanks. And I guess everything's on your terms. Yeah, they got it painted up pretty nice. They would have had a machine gun right there. They would have had one, uh, what they call coaxial machine gun. Maybe like a 30 cal. German tanks are kind of set up the same way where you have the, the uh, light machine gun off to the side and the driver sits next to it. Douglas MacArthur quote. Yep, pretty cool. When I was a little kid, I would have been all over this tank. And now that I'm an adult, I still think it's just as cool. All right, well, thanks for watching. 